What's good? Ship or Hurricane giving you trip of this full fall revolution. Got your next like shot. With a part two of Don't You Hate It When. Don't you hate it when people ask you a question and it's not generally for them to to actually learn something. They're really asking you a question to um, see where your head is at or to get you to let's just say um, change your emotion when it comes to certain topics. For example, religion. I hate Christianity. I say this because certain people ask you questions not to learn something but to get a reaction out of you. And that pisses me off. To see me mad or to see me excited about a subject. Not for you to learn something. Because after the question is asked and I give my initial reaction. They immediately go to I don't believe that. Or. They'll go to laughter. Then they'll call you crazy. So the question is, why the fuck did you ask me? I gave you the facts. It's in a book. And all this and all that. It's in a book. It's on stone tablets. Look it up. Do your research. Until I came down to a point where I was like, man, I just want to hear y'all stuff talk. And y'all want to get a reaction out of me. Because truly, this is your way of, let's just say, making fun of me. Wine, by the way. supposed to have a cup but motherfuckers do that now this will maybe only one two or three people that does it to me but they're not really part of the circle but my circle when we ask questions, we're trying to learn something. We're trying to find out bits and pieces, nooks and crannies of truth and formulate our own interpretation of what's going on in the world. But if you want to know what's going on in the world, man, just look at these pyramids. Look at look at all the shit that's occult. If you want to find the truth. Occult means hidden. If you don't know what occult means. People are like, it's a cult group. No, it's an occult group. It means hidden group. But it ain't hidden no more because you found it. So now it's just a group. But people take a lot of shit out of context. But I say this. When it comes to Christianity, I used to debate about how fake it is and how it's brainwashing our people. Now I've come to a point where that shit don't even fucking matter no more. And I just watch a debate, put all spirituality aside, all religion aside, and tell the motherfucker straight up. I ain't fucking with Christianity because it was forced on the people that was already over here on this land and it was forced on the people that was bought here from another land. Christianity came over here during slavery. Simple. This is not my language. 
This is not my religion. Uh, Cherokees, Blackfoots, Iroquois, Creeks, Navajos, and all the other natives, we ain't have no Jesus. We ain't have no buildings. We wasn't destroying the land with motherfucking poison. Like, we was, we was actually giving back. Christianity was brought over here during slavery, during destruction. Excuse me. Read about the transatlantic slave trade. Read about the American Holocaust. And just go back to the source. It's like, shit, nigga, I'm not going to believe in something that was forced on me. Simple. And I just end the conversation like that. Most cats I talk about, I mean, you know, like, most cats I hang with shit, we talk about spirituality. We talk about what's beyond this plane of existence. We talk about separating ourselves from humanity. You know, I try to keep reading, keep meditating, keep learning, because when you break open the shell of your ego and your human side or your, your your humanity when you shed your your fucking mind and you just live in your the fucking spirit and live in your own truth and you hang around others that's on the same mind path you can make it I believe that I don't judge people for who they are I judge by the company you keep you hang around Wise people, you become wise. You hang around foolish people, you become a fool, and you die. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that saying is in Proverbs, in y'all Bible. Every religion, every book, every doctrine has a truth. Every doctrine has a piece of truth. Just like Eddie Griffith said. Who gives a fuck what color the messenger was? Did you get the message? But why did I make this video? I made this video, man, because, like, there's no more time to debate. All that shit don't even fucking matter no more. It, like, like it don't. If any of these guys was going to come back, they would have came back. So that lets me know, nigga, those guys live within you and you have to unlock that shit yourself. And when it comes to conversation with others, you can't talk to motherfuckers that's dead in the mind. They're too dead in the mind. They would never believe the shit that's coming out of your mouth. But if a white man say it, they'll believe it. So I'm done with the debates. And in conclusion, when someone asks you a question about spirituality, stop their ass and ask them even though it's rude to answer a question with a question, but ask them, like, are you trying to learn about spirituality or you're just trying to see where my head is at and you're trying to laugh at me and get me to react the way you want me to? Ask them that shit. Friends, family, motherfuckers you're sleeping with, nigga, whatever. Because, really, the talk about religion breaks up friendships, family, motherfuckers you're sleeping with but most people are Christian so if you tell a bitch that you ain't Christian that bitch think you a devil worshiper simple that bitch think you evil <laughs> like honestly they get off and asking questions like damn believe nigga I believe nigga that there is a creator source somewhere but he lives in all of us and he's letting us do our motherfucking thing and unlock the ability to get back to the higher planes of existence instead of living down here in the lower planes so if anybody asks you any questions try to know where they head is at because motherfuckers honestly will laugh at you they, they call you crazy they call you insane they really ain't trying to learn nothing they really just want to just motherfucking really truly make fun of you so nigga don't let nobody motherfucking make fun of you and cut the conversation short. Hang around spiritual brothers just like you. You know. That's that's open minded. Not 
all spiritual brothers are the same is everybody has their own set of truth that they go to. You know, they books that they read. You got your books that you read. You know, some motherfuckers travel. You know what I'm saying? But the goal is to have spiritual people that's open minded so everybody can talk about their views and they can all come to conclusions. Be like, damn, that made me think about something. Then the other person be like, damn, that made me think about something. And then they all come together and, and find the one main truth together. Peace, love, harmony. Joy everlasting. So, um, it's your boy Hurricane giving you truth in this full fall. Peace. Revolutionary doctrine.